Uh, hello my dear students welcome to NAK Academy uh, today we are going to discuss uh, the chapter algebraic expressions uh, which is the chapter number six for uh, grade 9 syllabus so in this section uh, initially I am going to give you a, a very uh, good understanding uh, about what is an algebraic expression is so before we are uh, going to know about algebraic expressions uh, let's see some of the few basic things uh, that we have already know so as you all know uh, numbers uh, refers uh, our standard numbers like 1 2 3 and so on so these numbers uh, either we can take uh, positive numbers or negative numbers minus 25 or I might say uh, minus 6 or even I can take uh, decimal numbers 2.5 12.7 similarly also I can include uh, under these numbers fractions also type of uh, numbers for example 5 over 12 uh, 3 over 9 and even you can take mixed fractions uh, as well so these are, uh, are the numbers that we use in our day-to-day -day, uh, life so this is already you aware positive numbers negative numbers uh, decimal numbers uh, fractions and so on so what is this alphabet letters so so alphabet letters refers that the beautiful 26 letters from A to Z so either it can be capital letters or we can take simple letters so these are uh, alphabet letters and in mathematics we use uh, mathematical operators so mathematical operators refers uh, the plus minus uh, multiplication and the symbol division so let me take the symbol Since I'm using uh, Microsoft Word, it takes a uh, little time. Yeah, if I go to symbols, yes. So you have division. So we have plus, minus, multiplication, division, and even we can take uh, square root and so on. So uh, these uh, numbers, alphabet letters, and mathematical operators are more familiar things to us. So now we are going to enter a, a something, a new world in mathematics. Uh, we use the terminology called algebra or we say algebraic term so basically this algebraic term refers to you take a number and you connect this number with an alphabetical letter using any of these mathematical operator so now what I did is I wrote 3y so I have a number and I have an alphabet letter in mathematics we refer this as an unknown term so 3 is a known term which is a constant value y letter it doesn't carry any value so we refer that as an unknown term so using an alphabet letter and a number we have created something called an algebraic term 
So algebraic expression refers, let's say uh, I type 2a plus 3b. So in here I can find there are two algebraic terms, 2a and 3b. So these two algebraic terms I connected using a mathematical operator. Then I ended up with something called an algebraic expression. So algebraic expression means we connect one or more than one algebraic terms using the above mentioned mathematical operators. So when you connect such number of terms using this mathematical operator, you ended up with something called an algebraic expression. For example, if I take another example, let's say 3x, we write within bracket, let's say a plus 2b. So this is also another algebraic expression. Why I am saying it is an algebraic expression? Because I have connected more than one algebraic terms. 3x is an algebraic term. A is another algebraic term. 2b is another algebraic term. These algebraic terms are connected using these mathematical operators. In this example, bracket refers to multiplication, a product. Since there are two terms, it is compulsory to include a bracket. So these are known as algebraic expressions. So we'll say I'll write another example, 3x plus 2y. The whole thing I divide by 5. So this is another algebraic expression because we have alphabetical letters or in other words the unknown terms and the numbers are connected using these mathematical operators. So now you have a very good understanding about the difference between an algebraic term and algebraic expression. So you might think why we need to learn this algebraic expression, why these alphabetical letters are coming to mathematics. Because when we are solving questions uh, related to finding some value of some unknown or, or a one particular thing or more than that, uh, we cannot write simply the numbers and we cannot solve the problem. So in order to establish the given problem in terms of mathematics to solve the problem, we use uh, these alphabetical letters. In other words, we write those algebraic expressions. So this is a very, very important lesson since uh, for grade nine, you must take this as a core lesson because this lesson throughout continues till your grade 11. So now uh, let's uh, see how uh, we are going to solve these given algebraic expressions. So before that, I would like to add a small note uh, on this. So we know when we multiply 2, we multiply by A, then we get 2A. So what if I multiply minus 4 by A? So here the question comes with the operator. 
because here the symbol is minus symbol and here the symbol is plus so if I just write 4a I ended up with a wrong answer it should be minus 4a because I need to consider the operator also when I multiply so you can remember this table let's say when you multiply a positive value a plus value with a plus value you get the answer as a positive answer for example plus 2 multiplied by plus so I'll mention within brackets to make you a little clear plus a then you get plus 2a similarly when you multiply negative negative with a negative then your final answer is a positive answer for example minus 3 multiplied by minus a you get plus 3a also now I am going to multiply a positive with a negative value then my answer is a negative answer so if I take the same uh, values over here so plus 2 I'm gonna multiply with minus a so 2 multiplied by a is 2a plus into minus is minus so minus 2a and finally minus I multiply by plus then my answer would be a minus which means a negative answer so let's take the same example or the same numbers minus 3 multiply by plus a you get minus 3a so as you can observe when you multiply similar operators you get a positive answer when you multiply different operators you are getting a negative answer when you multiply same operators the result is positive when you multiply different operators your result is a negative result so these are the simple examples so this particular fundamental knowledge is uh, sufficient enough for you to start up this algebraic expressions uh, lesson so let's do a couple of uh, exercise in order to get familiar with this uh, algebraic expressions so let's say I'm going to multiply multiplying algebraic expression so let's say 2 within brackets a minus 3 so this is the given question so you are supposed to simplify this or in other words we are going to multiply why we are going to multiply because it consists with a bracket a minus 3 is one expression so that expression we are going to multiply with the number 2 so first I multiply 2 by a that means I get 2 a and the operator which carries by number 2 is a plus which is plus though it is not included by default if the operator is not included means it is plus so plus multiply by minus plus into minus is minus 2 multiply by 3 is 6 so this is a very uh, basic way a basic question we simplify 
let's take another example minus 4 you got to multiply by minus x plus a so as I mentioned you had to uh, consider the operator as well so here the operator is a minus minus into minus because x carry is minus minus into minus is plus so 4 multiplied by x is 4x again minus into plus is minus 4 multiplied by a is 4a so this is how you simplify uh, the values given with these uh, algebraic expressions so let's go to a little uh, Uh, little uh, the next level type of a question let's say two times a minus 3 this is one algebraic expression and that algebraic expression is connected with another algebraic expression let's say 5 a plus 4 so each bracket I need to simplify each bracket I am going to solve 2 multiply by a is 2a plus multiply by minus is minus 2 multiply by 3 is 6 so the first bracket is already solved now I am going towards the second bracket or the second algebraic expression plus 5 multiply by a is plus 5a again plus into plus is plus plus multiply by plus is plus 5 multiplied by 4 is 20 now you can see uh, the four terms are given here uh, the beauty is you can see there are similar terms 2a and 5a so 2a and 5a so similar terms can be added or subtracted based on the operators since here I can add 2a plus 5a is equal to 7a because 2 plus 5 is 7 so I write a the term 7a then I have minus 6 and plus 20 which means 20 subtracted by 6 which means plus 14 so 7a plus 14 is the final answer for this particular algebraic uh, by resolving this algebraic expression this is the answer we ended up so this is the very first video of uh, algebraic expression I have explained the very basic thing so we will be continuing this lesson with a couple of uh, maybe uh, three or four videos uh, so you will get a very clear detailed explanation on each component with some examples so uh, thank you so much for watching this video please uh, like and share uh, my video and do not forget to subscribe the channel NAK Academy thank you very much